Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And according to CBS News, the Belgium raids have uncovered evidence of a Europe-wide jihadist cell. Well, duh. What do you think we've been telling you people? I mean, by you people, I mean you people in the media and you people uh, in government. They open the floodgates to all these refugees, and then they wonder why they get attacked. We've been trying to warn you about this for a long time. Ever since Europe was flooded by one of these refugees, we were saying, hey, screw this. You gotta send them back where they belong. Because unfortunately, Muslims for the most part, just have not learned to live with civilized human beings. For crying out loud, how much more do we have to say, how much more do we have to tell you people, meaning media and people in power and so forth, how much more do we have to say before you're going to get the idea? New evidence shows disturbing evidence of just how big terror network is across Europe. CBS News' Alan Pizzi reports from Brussels that an effort to break terror cell that carried out bombings goes on. Belgian officials are coming under increased scrutiny and criticism for intelligence failures. In an operation that played out in full view, Belgian police shot a man who was spotted with a suspicious bag in a tram stop Friday. Cell phone video taken by terrified eyewitnesses in an overlooking apartment shows police approaching and then a young girl stepped out of a tram, tram stop shelter and being led to safety and then armed police moving in. The incident was one of the three targeted raids in, in an area where earlier this the week, people found a bomb-making factory that they saw was connected to the Brussels airport and subway attacks. The raids have been uncovered what is being described as an alarming evidence of a Europe-wide jihadist cell connected to the attacks in Belgium as well as those in Paris in November. Two brothers died in suicide bombers as suicide bombers and attacks in Brussels last week were known to police as petty criminals and potential terrorists. Ibrahim L. Bekroy blew himself up at the airport and been arrested and deported from Turkey and labeled a foreign terrorist fighter. His brother Khalid, who died in the subway attack, was subject to an international arrest warrant after the Paris attacks. Officials have told CBS News that the brothers were on the radar of U.S. officials' law enforcement. DNA found on a suicide vest and a piece of cloth at the Bat Clan con Concert Hall massacre in Paris and a bomb at the Stade de France Stadium was that of Brussels airport bomber Najim. L, that's not going to happen. In stark contrast to other places from where jihadists and terrorists have attacked, there's been no militar militaristic flag waving in Brussels and no real backlash against Muslims. That's too bad. We're getting tired of this. As the Belgian Prime Minister put it in a speech to Parliament, the freedom rule of law and tolerance are more than ever our reference points for moving forward together. But moving forward is a slow process with a manhunt on for at least two missing suspects. The authorities announced that Brussels airport won't open for Tuesday at the earliest. We've tried to tell you, bring in all these refugees and you wonder why you're getting attacked. Half to three-quarters of these people hate the countries that they're moving into. 
They want to turn them into Islamic caliphates. In other words, what they're doing is they're going to this, these places and they're saying, hey, screw you. We want to live just like we did back in the old country, without, but without the war. And then they turn around and they attack people. You got to get the borders sealed and you got to deport them back to the Middle East where they belong. It's sad that this many uh, human beings have gone essentially psychopathic like this, but I don't know what the answer here is. I'm a person who believes in freedom and self-determination. Now, there you have it, whether you like it or not. Europe is facing its darkest days since the Nazi, certainly since the communist occupation of Eastern Europe and probably since the Nazi, Nazis declared war on everybody. I want to fax to Mars. God help us. Have a nice day.